Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I did my makeup for my sister's big Halloween party. Um, this is toilet paper actually that I'm just applying with water. Um, she did a mashup of 1920s and 2020s, so it was sort of like flappers and The Walking Dead, <laughs> kind of like because of the pandemic stuff. That actually was my idea, so I'm kind of proud of it. Um, and so it was really fun to do our costumes and just get ready for this. So. Now that I have that applied there, I am just dragging down and making a tear in the toilet paper so that I can um, spread it out from side to side so I can make kind of like a gash looking thing in my skin. Now I'm just using some Elmer School Glue and I'm going to apply that to it and just uh, give it a nice good coat to help it stay on my face and also to give it the texture that I want as being like a wound. I wanted to get more footage at the party, but unfortunately, um, well not unfortunately, we were doing a murder mystery so I was very like involved in, you know, being a character and going through trying to figure out who the murderer was, so. Um, I just went ahead and used my blow dryer to kind of speed up the drying process a little bit while I was doing my makeup. And then I just used this BH Cosmetics um, concealer to put over top of that glue and stuff and kind of give it a little more of a skin type finish. This was super fun to do. I had a lot of fun. I did my husband and son's makeup too and did wounds on their face. It turned out really good. Um, and then just drying that. And then I'm gonna take just some black eyeshadow and I went around the edges just to kind of give the skin sort of a, like a charred dead look kind of, I guess. And um, yeah, people were commenting all night on like, oh, you did that makeup? Like it was pretty cool. I was really happy that it turned out as good as it did. I actually had done a trial run earlier in the day that of course worked out better than the one that I did for my look for the party, but isn't that how it goes? Now I'm mixing up my blood. This is just honey and um, some food coloring. So I'm mostly red and just a tiny little bit of blue to give it that dark look. So I'm dropping that on my face. I hate the smell of honey, unfortunately, so that part bothered me, but whatever. And then I just use a kitchen sponge to, and that was a clean brand new one, by the way, um, to just dab it around all over to give like that look of the blood everywhere. And then tried to concentrate more right in the center where like the gash would have been. And then here is my makeup. I'm Glam 19s, 1920s, but with that nasty eye look. What do you guys think? I was so happy with it. Now, unfortunately, my husband had the camera turned the wrong way, so you are just seeing a tiny portion of my the way my costume was. This is a dress I actually have from Francesca's with the tag still on it. That was like $5.95. That's my sister Dana on the left. She's the one who threw the party, and myself, my mom, and my sister Dylan. I am the oldest of us three girls, which you can probably tell. And that's my mom, Dylan, and I. It was so much fun. And that's my mom and dad. You only see a little bit of my mom's head because my dad's so tall. Mm -hmm.